to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak Trying to stand on my knees, go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? And rising, so listen First and foremost If nobody told you as of yet today I love you If nobody told you as of yet today I am proud of you You understand me? You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. Also, I do want to give you a brief disclaimer. I only want you to take what resonates and I want you to leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying to force certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you're going to get it through somebody else. So be patient with your process. Also, y'all already know that voice too raspy to be whispering. So this by the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit that volume, all right? So before we get started, I want to thank you so much in advance for all your love, like, share, subscribe, kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. Thank you, golden child. I do not always get to pause in the middle of the message to acknowledge you, so I do appreciate you. But once I post this on YouTube, I guarantee your name's going to be mentioned. Thank you, Jubilee. So let's talk. Chosen one. Now, there's a few things that we're going to have to discuss. The first thing being this. Right now, you could be feeling like you stuck in a sense of stagnancy. Right now, you could feel like you're not progressing. Right now, you could start doubting yourself. You understand me? So, I want you to realize that those are projections. Now, what do I mean? See, chosen ones, you automatically go to you doing something wrong. See, every time something doesn't happen as you asking God for it to come in. So certain things that you were ready for, what you thought you was ready for, certain prayers that you were requesting, because they haven't arrived as of yet, you questioning whether or not you was even headed in the right direction, see, chosen ones. You got to cut that out. That's learned behavior because of how past people always used to talk you down. Used to say negative things about you to have you doubt yourself. So why every time something doesn't go your plan A, you automatically start thinking of yourself negatively. You got to cut that out. You understand me? See, some of you chosen ones, your progression isn't getting paused based upon you. Sometimes it's not only the person that you currently connected to because you could be saying, well, I didn't cut everybody off. I done sat there and disconnected. So you know that it can't be a specific person that was pausing your progression because you didn't disconnect it from them, right? So, but you're still looking for certain answers. One, it wasn't your time yet, right? Not only that chosen one, what if I told you that God is pausing you for a minute, but not based upon you, not based upon who you was connected to, but currently who's about to be aligned with you as well, chosen ones. See, you have to realize that you attract the energy that you sending out in a sense, right? So if you had certain unhealed trauma, if one minute you want love and the next minute you ain't want to be bothered, one minute you felt like you wanted to speak your heart and express yourself, the next minute you bottling up because that ego then stepped back in, you understand me? Certain pride and got you biting your tongue in a sense. Certain people that had said certain things that have you questioning yourself again. So chosen ones, just know that God is not blocking you or pausing you because of something negative that you're doing, but based upon what he's doing for you. There's certain individuals that, again, that God has given them a last opportunity to align with you. This could be a soulmate. This could be a twin flame. This could be a kingdom spouse, whatever name you give them, right? So for your divine feminine and masculine, especially for those who cross paths briefly with your person, but the timing was off, God just had you get a quick glimpse of that person. You to see that spark that you had with that person, just for you to go back to your past and realize that that spark was lacking, so therefore that's not a location that you were supposed to be at. See, what if I told you that there's certain people that God had cross paths with you temporarily, just for a quick moment, just so that you can know them, just so that you can feel that difference, just so that you could trust your intuition just so that you started to see certain things differently than what that other past person was given then gave you the opportunity to go back with that person because there was still a lesson that needed to be learned you had to notice the difference 
See, I'm trying to tell you, some of you are starting to realize that you was with your karmic person and thought that was your divine. See, you thought that was your divine feminine. You thought that was your divine masculine. Whole time, that was a twin of them. You understand me? That was the evil, evil one. Now, what do I mean? See, you could have met somebody and you had loyalty to them. You could have had children with them. You could have been in a relationship, a marriage, so on and so forth, some type of commitment, right? See, you was loyal to that person because you said, well, now that you were committed, that you committed to them, but you ain't realized that you was committing to certain karma and consequences and cycles that came with them too. But again, you assumed that this was your person because they met you when you was not so much a hill version of you. See, some of you are holding on to certain people that you met when you was trauma bonding with them. So you met them and you was in a sense entertaining the past version of you. So the more that you started to grow, you outgrew this individual. Because when they met you, they couldn't grow no more. They are very pessimistic. People that are negative. People that do certain things for attention. Living their life for other people. So on and so forth, right? They ain't been themselves since they became... You know what I'm talking about. See, chosen ones. God had you cross paths with certain individuals, right? There's certain people that, again, you felt a certain spark with them. You felt like this was your true divine feminine or masculine. Now, some of you were correct, but you had a false start with them in a sense. See, you may not have even had a title with them, but you were interested. Your soul claimed them. You sat there and was like a homie, lover, and best friend to them, right? While they may have been in another commitment. While you could have been entertaining other individuals too. Because at this point in time, you have to realize that you've met the unhealed version of you. That's a reflection. See, when they say the eyes is the window of the soul, because at times you see yourself in them. You understand me? So certain individuals that you are attracting is based upon the energy that you was projecting. So therefore, they are a reflection of your soul in a sense. But sometimes you have to realize that you outgrow that reflection. That that person will no longer reflect you because you outgrew them, right? Now hear me out. See, chosen ones. There's some of you that, again, when you met your true divine partner, you was connected to a karmic individual. Somebody that you had kids with, somebody that you lived with, somebody that you shared a business with, whatever the case may be. See, God showed you this person like, hey, yo, you see difference, right? And they seen that difference clearly. See, you ain't have to tell that person certain things that you like or wanted to do because well before they met you, they were doing those things. That's what led them to you, right? So this is equivalent to you finding that person and you telling them what your passion and the purpose is and they all of a sudden say the same thing. All of a sudden, now this is the difference between you telling somebody something and they just repeating what you say. Because there's certain people that, again, will put on a certain facade like they're your person, but it's not. They just putting on that character that day, right? See, you know who you're divine. And again, I have a whole session, of course, that's pre on pre-sale now. The link's in my bio that we're going to break everything down about karmic twin flames, soulmates, how to be able to tell the difference. But we're going to get briefly into it, right? chosen ones you know that this is your divine partner because not only when you met them you felt like you met yourself your inner child felt protected with them this is somebody that you felt comfortable saying certain things telling them about your personal position so this is you being in an unfavorable relationship and you aligning with this person this could be your soulmate your twin flame flame you having a conversation with them telling them about the things that you're going through and that just so happens to be what they're going through too so you two use each other to vent to about the karmic individuals that you were connected to right see you telling them about again how you wish you had that then they talking about how they wish that they had what you had in a sense right See, both of you was going through the same thing, but through different perspectives. You understand me? So you could have had karmic family members that you disconnected from. You was quick to cut them off. You no longer was involved with them, but you also felt by yourself in a sense because you didn't have family members around because you disconnected from the toxic shit. They could have family members all around them and them still are not feeling, them still not feeling fulfilled, them still not feeling accepted by them, them feeling like they couldn't be their authentic self so you looking at them and saying damn you wish that you had the family dynamic that they had the whole time they wish that they had the courage that you had to walk away from that toxic shit you understand me so chosen ones i want you to realize that again 
There's certain partners that you were connected to while you was connected in a different situation. At that time, you could have been sleeping with your child's father or mother, didn't have a relationship or title with them, but you still were entertaining them when you wanted that little fix, quick fix in a sense, right? They could have been doing the same. But again, every time y'all distance yourselves from each other, y'all came back again, right? Now, this is different between that karmic bond that they had. Because, see, God is guiding you two back together. Whereas, God is drifting those two apart. See, God keeps having them show their karmic ass to let them know that that wasn't a genuine spark. That they were getting persuaded to play that position based upon certain beliefs that was instilled in them. Not only that, based upon the fact that they lacked certain confidence and didn't feel like they can confidently go in and accomplish certain things. Whether or not that be finances, they feel like they got to depend on them. Whether or not they feel like that person's going to run their name in the mud in a sense. Whether or not they felt like that person was going to keep them away from their kids. See, there were certain things that the karmics try to hold over their head to persuade them not to go in the right direction. See, chosen ones, them karmics was unsuccessful. See, the karmics tried to have you to be, not even realizing everything that they do, God has work on behalf of you. You understand me? So at that time where you met your twin or your soulmate, the person that you again felt that spark with, now it's different from you feeling butterflies. When you feel that spark, that's something that you can't deny. It's just in there. So those who have met, you know what I'm talking about very clear. You're not doubting that. You're like, yo, this person, this me for real. Like this is them. Every time other people try to approach you that's not even an option some of you've been single since you met that individual just because you're not going to limit yourself when you found somebody else that's able to give you everything that you need and ain't not got to even do anything just be themselves okay cool now stay with me stay with me see there's certain karmic individuals that start targeting you See, they seen how so-and-so was looking down at their phone when they was talking to you. How so-and-so brought up your name and said how they was proud of certain things that you were doing. How when they searched in that call log where they looked up the history, it was your profile that was popping up. How certain things that they said, they knew that it came from you because they was watching you too. See, chosen ones, you got an audience. See, right now, you got certain karmics trying to figure out what you got planned to do. See, these are the karmics that have been impersonating you, trying to act like they was divine to the person that was truly aligned with you, right? See, these karmics seen how that person changed differently. See, your person could have been mean to them, could have been very disrespectful to them. They could have sat there and been very blunt to them, could have been inconsiderate of them, so on and so forth. See, when they cross paths with you, that's a view that you've never seen before. See, the person actually thought about how you would feel had they talked to you a certain type of way. See, again, when that karmic describes your partner, they not describing the same thing. See, they talking about how that person is evil, how they mean, how they negative, how they all these things, not even realizing that that just shows the type of surroundings that they grew up in. See, they talking about how they a puppy, right? Talking about how they a dud, talking about they on that Scooby-Doo shit, right? Just to try to keep you from being connected to them, right? But but those who have pets know that those pets act based upon their household. So if comics keep talking about how that person is speaking out, how this person is selfish, how this person is this, that, and so forth, right? But didn't say what they did to them, right? See, chosen ones, you had to realize that your partner, just like you, people haven't always believed them. People haven't always encouraged them. People haven't always gave them an opportunity to speak their truths, but you see through that things, the, those things that they showing you. So you speak the truth for them. That's why them karmics come at you. See, that person may not tell people that that karmic ain't shit, but you gonna speak the truth pertaining to it. You gonna call them out on it. See, that person may not feel comfortable telling people how that person played in black magic, but you know who's backing you. You know that God is backing you so these karmics can't bully you. So therefore, you're going to do what God called you to do and speak the truth on these individuals. See, why you think that they try to target you so bad? Some of you right now got karmics that's putting certain prices on your head. See, let's talk. There's certain karmics right now that pay certain practitioners to try to take you down. See, the practitioners didn't tell them that they didn't ran into something different. 
See, the practitioners are so used to going after certain people with negative intentions. See, if you are a karmic and you attack somebody who's operating at a low vibration, what you send to them could have an impact on them, right? So, because God's like, listen, y'all demons can do what you do to each other, but you better not touch one of mine, right? That's where they messed up at. See, when they looked at you, they didn't see that you were successful. They didn't see that you was flashy in a sense. They didn't see you surrounded around certain family and friends. So they thought that you was by yourself. That's why they targeted you. See, that's why they made fun of you. That's why they pointed and said certain things about you. They see your wealth. But chosen ones, they must not know who your people is. See, I ain't talking about this earth type shit. I'm talking about in the 5D. We talking about the spiritual elements, right? See, chosen ones, they ain't even realize who's bloodline you truly connected to see they ain't even realize that you come from a long list of grandmothers that used to tuck their hand when they was giving bread to certain individuals now what do i mean see the demons always try to flashy be flashy and show off their things the demons is connected to your cousin that keep showing their little bundle of bread all over the internet See, the demons is connected to that person talking about they got that shit on and want to post certain labels that they rocking. See, the demons is going to be the ones showing people what type of car they drive just to make them feel like they successful. See, those demons is going to try to be flashy about their crib, not to encourage you, but try to act like they encouraging you while they stunting and trying to show you what it is, right? See. If you really got it like that, you don't even want people to know that you got it like that, right? That's why God didn't always have you dressed to impress. See, he said that you had that wealth within you. You ain't have to have it on you. See, that was a difference. See, I'm trying to tell you, these individuals didn't realize that you were secretly passing out blessings. See, you ain't have to sit there and say what you did because you knew what you did and why you did it, right? See, you ain't have to say how you flashy because you know that you are flashy regardless of what you have on, right? See, you can have a pair of Wranglers and be rocking it better than those people with those trues. See, you can have some rinky dick. You can have your bands on in a sense and it's going to look better than those Balenciaga. Man, I'm trying to tell you, chosen one. See, you ain't got to really have that shit on because you got that shit in you. You heard me. See, that's where these comics is was getting it confused, right? See, they targeted you because they felt like you was by yourself. See, they ain't realize that you willingly isolated. You got away from that negative in a sense. See, they ain't realize that although you may have subtracted certain people, God was adding certain blessings in. God was adding certain gifts and abilities towards you. The more that you was willing to give up, the more that God had come forth for you, right? See, they thought that she was by yourself whole time. You wasn't by yourself because you got mad ancestors that's all over. See, you got your God, which is different than those people that they praising, right? See, you know that your God is connected to the universe. So do you know how much comes with that? I ain't just talking about Earth. I'm talking about people in different galaxies that's sending positive energy towards you. See, they don't even realize that you got certain ancestors that already didn't whoop their ancestors' ass. Now, what do I mean? See, they don't even realize why, again, see, you a goddess. You a God. That's the difference. You not the God. You a God because you got a piece of him in, of you inside, right? So let's talk. With that being said, you guys pop, personal pop-up generator. So anybody that's lacking, they can plug in. And you're going to what? Provide certain light to them. Provide certain energy to them. Certain times that they couldn't see, guess what they do? You provide that for them, right? See, certain times they was in the dark, you was the one that gave them that recharge, right? See, chosen ones, you got your name rings bells. But let's talk, right? See, these karmics not even realizing who... You connected to these people that they read about scriptures, that's your people. So this ain't the first time your people had to knock out certain Jezebel. See, you've been on your Elijah tip. You've been having to cut certain people off. You've been having to cause judgment on certain shit. Oh, just like Elijah. Oh, you unfamiliar? See, I'm just going to talk about what I know, right? See, I know Elijah sat there and seized certain karmic individuals that wasn't living right. And he called judgment on them. See, certain rain wasn't going to come. They was going to experience certain famines, right? Not only that, chosen ones, what did Elijah do? He knocked out 
Jezebel and all her minions too. See, that's why they keep trying to pay all these practitioners to try to play with you. Whole time they ain't even realize that you fully protected. You of God's crew. So therefore nothing that they try to form against you is going to penetrate you. That's why they kept sending all this shit sporadically. They like, yo, shorty's still moving. They see you kept doing, you kept going, you kept grooving, right? They kept sending all this shit to you. See this, let me tell you real quick, comments. We told you to stop playing, right? Every chance you get, you conjuring up certain shit. I told you, you should have skipped the middleman and just basically taking yourself out instead. See, I'm not promoting that, let me be clear, right? But you keep trying to send black magic. You trying to have... God's crew doubting themselves. You try to have them look in the mirror and feel negative about themselves. You try to send certain things not even realizing that while you try to break their foundation down, your shit's already crumbling. See, you, how they say, how you got that adrenaline rushing, they adrenaline is pumping just to attack you. They see that you still moving. They sporadically sending things at you, but shorty, had you not looked down yet, you're crumbling, you're fumbling, your demise is already here. See, if you haven't noticed yet, the chosen ones, we good. We moving without no fear. See, you done paid all these practitioners to try to play in our energy and you played yourself. See, they didn't know how to tell you that you was trying to go up a, against a different individual. See, those practitioners was like, hey, this didn't work out, let me try this instead. Oh, this didn't work out, let me try this instead. See, what they didn't tell you is that they already foreseen the future and the future ended up with you did. See, they didn't already, they didn't tell those karmics. See, when I say you karmics, I'm talking to you, the chosen ones, be protected. See, every time you keep flicking through all these cards, trying to conjure up an ending. See, every time you keep trying to go through certain readers to get certain information, you keep getting the same ending. You're dead, they progress. Your demise, they uprise. They end up getting the love of their life while you are done. See, chosen ones, these comics been trying to impersonate you so much that they getting caught up. Now, what do I mean? See, chosen ones, that's why I said be very, pay attention to your energy. Now, what do I mean? Because they projected certain things on you. See, you have to realize, chosen ones, that there's certain individuals that's constantly thinking about you, constantly trying to see certain moves that you do. See, chosen ones, a lot of you are tapped in. See, let me give you an example, right? Right now, there's a Carmen, and I know she know who I know she is, right? Now, I'm just going to identify one Carmen, but there was a grip of them. See, some of them to learn their lesson, they already tapped out because I didn't already energetically wipe their whole squad out. You played with magic with this friend, that friend had an ending, right? See, you try to play this practitioner to do this, now you ain't even got money to play and pay them, right? See, you try to get this practitioner to do that, now they did, and you're on your way to it. See, you try to take out certain chip, my squad, now you keep having chip problems with your child. See, you kept doing negative things the whole time. You ain't even realized who you was playing with. See, I tell you, chosen ones, we play it cool. That's why God said we don't need to react to everything that people do. Why? Because once we speak that into existence, you done. You doomed. You understand me? So let me say this. Right now, you got a karmic watch and it's trying to impersonate everything that you do and is saying. See, they know that you are a divine feminine or masculine. They know that other people are starting to acknowledge it. They know that there's certain people that's preparing to get in a relationship and connection with you. They know that there's certain people that's bringing your name up in rooms that you ain't even get to yet. You heard me? So what do those karmics do? See, they try to watch you and they try to imitate you. See, us talking right now about how certain karmics is going to go down. See, we also talk about how you got to know what end of the road you on. Now, what do I mean? See, chosen ones, you could be getting fired from that location because God is presenting a new opportunity for you. 
You could lose that job because God's been trying to tell you that that job wasn't for you, but you wasn't listening. So God's like, nah, I got to force you out that position then. So now you really going to apply to the other spot that I got presented for you. So now you're not settling in a sense, being taken advantage of from those toxic individuals. You ain't going to have to give up your time with your family in order to provide for them. You're not going to have to give up your peace for your profit. You're going to be aligned with your purpose instead. See, God said that they had certain things happen to you. Now, what that karmic is going to do, because they imitating, right? They going to try to act like them getting fired. Oh, that was their blessing. Oh, nah, motherfucker. That was your karmic lesson. God's telling you that everything that you had is getting snatched from you. Because one, you ain't do the right thing to earn that. Two, you was trying to pay certain people to play in people's energy. So now how you going to pay them with your life? It's coming. Oh, you thought you was better because you had certain labels, all of this. Okay, cool. So they getting certain things stripped because they tried to strip you from your finances. See, these karmics got karma coming, but they going to try to put on a facade like they on your side. They not, right? Now, hear me out. There's some of you that God's having you move from this location because it truly wasn't for you. You was, again, it served its purpose in a sense. It was supposed to be just there for your transitional phase, right? So there's a spot that you could have lived in that God was like, nah, we're going to take you from there, right? You relocating. See, there's a difference. God is removing you to relocate you. See, these karmics, they're going to try to act like they're doing the same thing as you. Oh, nah. See, shorty, you had to relocate because you got kicked out. You got evicted. Huh? You living with your people now, right? And every spot that you get, you're going to have to struggle to stay in because you try to mess up somebody else's foundation and have them messed up. So now you getting displaced. Displaced. You understand me? Oh, why? See, chosen ones. There's certain individuals, again, you got to pay attention. You focus on they hand that you feeling like you, they better than you when they in worse conditions. What do I mean? You looking at that person right now, feeling like, oh, they have a better house than you. Whole time, if you really knew, one, they had a scam to get in there, they didn't naturally get approved. So you came this close from getting approved by you doing the things that are right that God called you to do. This is by your income, you almost made it. From your credit, you almost made it. See, for them, they had to fake it. Fake pay stubs, fake identities. Some of the places that they stay in, their family had to get it for them. There's certain places that, again, is already in foreclosure or going currently through their evictions. See, it's the difference. You out here thinking that they winning the whole time they fucked up. See, you looking at their new car, and because you got the old model, you feeling less about yours. See, the difference is your shit is paid for. But if that's not enough, you see them in new cars, one, they can't even afford to fill that tank up. Not only that, they lease and they whip, so therefore, no matter how many years they pay for that shit, it's never going to be theirs. Not only that, chosen ones, they hiding their shit right now because the repo man is on them. There's certain people right now that's ducking and dodging, they car about to get snatched, but you feeling like they riding smoother than you. But they not going to be riding much longer. See, you looking at it again, comparing your circumstances to other people's shit the whole time. You're not realizing that they ain't do the work to get it. You understand me? There's some of you that looked at people going on extravagant vacations. You've been saving, wanting to take your children on certain trips. You've been wanting to lavish yourself with certain gifts. There's certain things that you wanted to do, but the time didn't present itself yet. You was out there looking at them like, damn, what a, you thought you was doing something wrong because they looked like they was progressing. Whole time they was finessing. Whole time that PPP came in and they took it, right? See, chosen ones, what if I told you that intentionally happened? See, some of you could have applied for a PPP too. Your ass wasn't approved. Why? Because God was like, that ain't even for you. Now, don't let these friends get you messed up. Now, don't let these friends get you in trouble. Now, don't let these people that's hyping it up talking about us nothing get your ass booked. So, that's equivalent to you getting that warning like you better turn your ass back around and go down the right road. So, that was a blessing. You felt like you was 
out in a sense. You thought that you wasn't progressing. You thought that certain things wasn't happening on behalf of you. Whole time God was looking out for you. That's why he ain't had certain things go through. But let her hear me out, right? So you thought that they was balling. Why do you realize, why do you think that God allowed these karmics to get that quick approval? Why do you think, chosen ones? Because these are the people that's been gang stalking you. These are the people that's been targeting you. These are the people that's been doing magic on you. These are the people that's been lying on you. These are the people that's been trying to destroy certain businesses that you're doing. See, these are the people that at that time you ain't had proof, but God intuitively told you and you knew that he was going to present that proof for you. See, you just paid attention to what you were supposed to do. God was like, nah, speak your truth, call judgment on them. See, it's a difference. You don't match the same energy as them, but you do the right thing. There's a difference. What do I mean? See, if there's a person that tries to report you, say that you a fraudulent individual, and you know that that's not true, but you know for a fact that that person did something that they wasn't supposed to do, see, God is like, nah, don't allow them to bully you. Oh, they called you a fraud, but they actually out here frauding. So go ahead and report them then. Go ahead and speak the truth and allow that to get illuminated then. See, with that being said now, that doesn't mean that you actually have to do it. But again, you speak your truth. Right? Hear me out. See, chosen ones. God knew at that point in time when they got approved, these people don't realize that they've been getting watched ever since. See, when you accept loans that wasn't for you, that's a federal offense, right? When you had certain money wired from that PPP loan into your account, now that's wire, that's wire fraud there. Not only that, when you sat there and changed certain numbers for you to get approved, oh, that was tax evasion then. Oh, when you was out here, again, reporting certain things falsely, see, you was getting watched since that time. What happened? They feel like they electronics ain't getting tapped in. So now they didn't already get in the proof presented for you because the federalities been watching. So they keep doing what they do and feel like they escaped the fate. Whole time, the federalities is adding more, building even more cases because everybody that they connected to was now getting watched too. Now they getting basically that RICO case. Huh? So since they gang stalked you, Every time they click on your page, the federalities watching them as they do it. Every time they talk about that person to that person talking about they wanted to put a price on your head, the federalities seen that shit. Or when they was talking to certain practitioners saying they want to do this and that, oh, they recorded. So they caught on tape doing black magic. See, everything that they thought that they was doing and thought that it wasn't getting caught on to, they was getting watched at all times. See, they didn't believe it when they said somebody's always watching you. See, God's always watching you and God will guide certain people to you just to witness what you're doing, right? See, they called you a fraud. Try to say your business was bogus. Now, when they search up their name, it's attached to fraud and people are starting to notice. See, they said that you was evil said that you was a witch now according to the federal rallies they seen you looking and conjuring up certain shit they seen you paying certain practitioners to play in the energy huh oh but see all of that's gonna get released in court that court case is coming up they feel like they escaped whole time you think that because you filed your taxes and they ain't get on your air shack or you feel like february passed and you feel like you escaped it Shorty, they adding on because that's another year that you ain't be honest about the situation. So, federalities on your ass. Everything that they was doing, they try to say that you was a liar. The federalities got them opening up certain fake accounts. That's crazy. The same accounts that were messaging them and acting like it was from you. See, these people that sat there and act like you was a burden to them when really they were stalking you. When really they was threatened by you. So there's certain moves that they was doing. Whole time shorty you did not know who you was messing with. Everything's getting presented. 
See, they so much in an illusion, chosen ones, that everything that you do, they try to do too, because they want to seem like they on the same side of the karmic cycle as you. You start talk, you talk about God at first, they used to clown it. Now all of a sudden they praising his name. Hmm. They used to say that you was crazy. Now they try to act intuitively, repeating the same thing. Hmm. They used to act like you was a clown because you wasn't all labeled down. Now they try to dress like you. Hmm. Everything that you do, they currently try to do too to try to seem like they on the same part of the cycle as you because they trying to still have certain partners confused. No, boo, we know the truth about you, right? Now hear me out. See, chosen ones, them karmics right now, again, they confusing the situation that they in with your season. They feeling like they struggling because success is at the end of the tunnel for them. Oh, nah, shorty. This is just the beginning of several years and several lifetimes where you're going to be limited. See that black magic that they did on their partners to try to keep them there? Now your partner's no longer having sex with you, so that sex magic ain't working because they seeing clear. See, your partner's no longer eating after you, so that stuff that you were speaking in their food no longer is impacting them. See, your partner's no longer trying to chase certain addictions because they didn't heal certain things that they was dealing with within. See, when God had your partner get distance from you, calm individuals, they was finding themselves while they was finding out about you. See, before you used to put that Victoria's Secret on and you could persuade them to do anything that you want. You talking about, oh, how for their birthday, you ain't buy them anything, but you was going to put what on them? Huh? Oh, all right, cool. See, before the chosen ones could have used to fall for that based upon a Jezebel spirit that was connected to them from you, right? See, now... When they try to put that shit on, chosen ones look at them like, ugh, in disgust. Not only that, they talking about, oh, I got this surprise for you for your birthday, talking about between their legs, and you like, shit, is that the same thing that I had last Saturday? The fuck is it? You no longer hype about it. You not, the things that used to get you off don't get you off no more. You changing, your vibration is elevating. You understand me? See, they talking about how they was going put this on you like yo shorty that's the same pocket from saturday from yesterday from so like oh let me guess you gonna drink casamigos and you gonna say it's gonna bring the freak out of you okay oh for fellas too y'all be talking that shit oh let me think you really gonna i ain't oh you gonna have me huh you gonna have me going crack motherfucker it's because of the demons connected to you you say you're going to have so-and-so walking funny. Motherfucker, it's because so, the demon connected to you was slew-footed or some shit. Like, nah, get behind me, Satan. Fuckers, you say, oh, no. No. E. Like, oh, let me guess. Oh, wow. Pew, fuck out of here. We not impressed by that. Like, what the fuck? You, what? Do something new, motherfucker. Like, what? It's not, it's not cute. That's why the call me mad, because so-and-so was on your heels, and so-and-so ain't even had to smash you. So-and-so was in love with your intellect. So certain things that they used to do with that karmic person, they would never cross that line with you. See, they, <coughs> excuse me, they karmic person used to let them sleep with other individuals. They got that shit out their system, because they know with you, they couldn't do that shit at all, and they not even going to want to. You understand me? That's why the karmic mad. How they try to give them everything they wanted and to find out it was you that they wanted instead. See, they try to give them the world whole time. That person seeing you as the world. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you, chosen one. That's why these karmics is mad. That's why you maintain your energy. That's why when you talking about things that you want to do, don't even bring this person in your mind. Don't even think about how this karmic's going to try to do what you do because that's how you bring them in your energy in a sense. Nah, keep their ass completely out there in the cold. They going to do what you do. People are going to see that they only making certain moves after you and they going to put one and one together. You heard me? So don't worry about it. The karmics is getting caught up. That's why they scared. See, there were certain karmics I told you. They about to lose their mother. 
The same person that was condoning that shit that she was doing, she about to be gone. You know that father that was paying you certain money to keep you afloat? Now they ass about to be floating on too. Because they was paying you and you was paying practitioners to play in energies of some chosen individuals. Your ass is done. Finito. Done, son. See, chosen ones, you don't feel sorry for these karmics. You understand me? Because again, it didn't have to happen if they ain't send that energy out. Nobody had to die if they ain't send that death magic out. Nobody had to get left how they not walked away instead. They was playing with somebody that didn't want to be played with. All those demons that you conjuring up, I'm telling you, they got to listen to a chosen individual. So when we say go back to the person who sent you, oh, they going back. See, we protected by God. You, oh, your ass is out there. You ain't got no type of protection at all. They starting to see it now, those chosen ones. Do not get upset. See, again, you have to realize that certain things for them is about to come to an end. See, when they see you in your divine feminine and masculine, now let me say this. Again, I'll get more into it pertaining to my course, but let me tell you, chosen ones. Some of you right now, again, God is pausing you to give that person who you're supposed to be with an opportunity to finally do right by you. They gonna have to hurt some feelings in order to fall in place with you. They gonna have to have endings in order to have this new beginning with you. So yes, it feels like you standing still a little bit and you like, man, I got everything ready. You just waiting for the next direction. Guys like, hold on, cause this person's coming, but they gotta close out a few things. So one, they had to let that ego go because they can't take it with you. They can't have that ego around you. That's evil. Fuck out of here. They got to be vulnerable. They got to be able to express their feelings with you. They got to be willing to stand up to certain individuals about you. They got to be willing to tell so-and-so. Matter of fact, you was right. This is my divine individual. Because they best believe they've been questioning about you, chosen ones. And some of them try to deny you in order to protect you. Because that person that they was with, could have they could have knew that they was a dark-ass individual. They could have knew that they had certain friends and families that was going to try to attack you. See, what they didn't realize is that your hands is really like that. That your spirit is really like that. So therefore, you ain't even got to get your hands dirty. God got certain individuals that's going to handle that. You understand me? Not like them trying to put prices on your head. I'm talking about energetically. God sends certain individuals to handle it. You understand me? That's why I maintain yours. Don't match their energy because you're going to match that karma and consequences too. But hear me out. Chosen ones, you see how you keep going back and forth that... God keeps co-signing the person that you're supposed to be with. You ask them for a sign and confirmation and they show they sign or they have certain songs come through and you like, yo, you see a 222 or 111. They give you a certain number. You see a number at a time. You look it up like, what's the angel meaning behind it? And it aligns with it. I'm telling you, them karmics is trying to have you walk away from your divine individual. The karmics is trying to have you give up on the person that you've been waiting for. You understand me? See, you ain't paused your progression. There's a difference. See, you've been handling what you've been handling, but you've still been open to them playing a certain position. You've still, still been speaking love and light into them. You still have been providing certain insight towards them. You still have their best interests at hand, but you like, listen, I got to go focus on me. I can't wait for you to get it, right? See, you ain't even realized at that time God had to get you out of the dark in order to lead them into the light. So you had to heal first because you're a magnet. Your true divine person is that strongest magnet. You know when they run a magnet over certain metal and everything from metal goes up to it, right? Every little, the smallest little pieces to the biggest pieces connect to it. That twin flame, that soulmate, that kingdom spouse connection. This is something that nothing can interrupt it. Nothing can get in between it. See, time is not even a thing. You understand me? Because this is a connection that you two keep picking up where you left off every time that you meet. Every time. 
sometimes you couldn't realize like, damn, it's been two years since I spoke to them because it still feels like yesterday, right? See, there's certain individuals that every time you ask God for a sign who your divine partner is, something about them pops up. Whether or not it's a song that they song to you, whether or not you see them and other individuals that you looking at, like, damn, so-and-so got some nice eyes like so-and-so. Damn, so-and-so kind of sound like so-and-so. Damn, so-and-so kind of look. Every quality that you like about other people are the qualities of this person. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you, do not give up on them. They are on their way. But these karmics are trying to do everything to stop them. See, you got to realize that you were operating out of a certain way. So you, your coping mechanism could have been this. Theirs could have been the opposite. That is exactly why that happened. I may be one of the only individuals that really say, yo, when it comes to your true twin flame, your true soulmate, your kingdom spouse, don't you let nothing come in between. We're not talking about them karmics that was cheating, beating. See, that twin flame soulmate, whatever the case may be, didn't even cheat on you. Because y'all didn't even have a title. You just felt that title with that individual. Your soul knew that y'all already was married because that's what you did in the life, last lifetime. In the lifetime before that. In the lifetime before that. But you also have to realize that you volunteered their services in a sense. That God, this is a test. You guys have to guide yourselves back to each other. That goes to show you that intuition over everything. You understand me? You have to realize that so one twin will be equipped with a vision, feels the intuition. The other one will be more logical, critical thinker, where they may only believe when they physically see certain things, but they feel something with you. So therefore you teach them how to trust their intuition and operate out their light instead of using it to entertain dark individuals. You showing them that they don't got to play in magic, that they are magic, that anything that is truly for them, they can obtain it, that they can have it. They just got to allow God to guide them. You let them know like, yo, I see the great in you, regardless if you got certain new clothes, new shoes, shit. To me, no matter what you got on, you got that shit on. See, this is the person that no matter what you driving in, they so excited to be in the passenger side with you. This is somebody that's going to sleep comfortable beside you, whether or not you on an air mattress or you on that California king size bed. This is the person that no matter what that other person tried to buy them or bribe them to do, they kept coming back to you. This is your divine person. You understand me? So I'm telling you, you feel that energy real strong. They making their way to you. Some of them have to escape that past person in order to do it. You understand me? But some of them have to realize they can't run away. You got to face that shit. So you can't just hurry up and leave them while they denying you. No. They going to have to delete those pit. See, some of you aren't catching on. There's some people that you realize and that they haven't changed because if you scroll through their page, they still got old relationship pictures up years ago. I don't care if it was 2008, whatever the case may be. If you no longer connected to that person, then you shouldn't be able to see them. That door still got to be open in a sense. See, you going to know your sign that your person is on your way to you is they're going to remove everything from past individuals from being in anybody's view. So on their profiles, all the pictures going to be deleted. They making room for yours, right? Because what do you look like? They had posting you and then scrolling through and they can see they past individual too. Now they got to pick their side. See, not only that, they're going to be faced to tell the truth about you and not deny it. So what does that mean? That before they used to deny that they had feelings for you. Before they said that you was just a friend or just a fling. Now they're going to say, you know what, so-and-so was right. That's my divine feminine. That's my divine masculine. That's the person I want to be with. And they willing to take whatever that person tries to do because they know that that person is not going to be a impact they not going to make no impact if god is guiding you to do something don't you know he's going to look out for you so you scared that if you tell that person that you don't want to be with them they're not going to let you see your children don't you know that god's like as long as you get your ass up you go to court i'm gonna have it work out on your behalf you talking about how okay well if you leave them they're gonna put you on child support and you're gonna be limited the fact that you're willing to do the right thing god's going to make sure that anything that you get you or deserve you're going to get, meaning that it's not going to work out like it is for them. 
that they may feel like they breaking you when it comes to certain child support and it's not God's gonna have a breakthrough come for you and that's barely gonna put a dent in your pocket or you don't realize that that person was doing certain fraud and that they about to go down and it's gonna be you that's left to raise your child huh some of you aren't realizing that you had children with karmic individuals so the children that you try and raise with them is not their child in a sense. That's why it's a disconnect. So that's why they try and use them in order to get to you. They don't really want to be with you. They just know what they get by having a child by you. That they know if this child has an emergency, you won't get drop everything in order to be by their side. But they want to be there too. No, it's not happening. There's certain people that, again, you wondering why God didn't have you make that move. Because he's like, nah, if you moved there, certain people was going to try to target you. Before y'all completely locked in, they was going to try to bother you. Whole time, you don't even realize that that person is waiting on the right time to hit you up. And it's coming soon, I promise you. So if you wait in chosen ones, if you waiting for that connection or that contact, it's coming. You understand me? See, they could be waiting for a special occasion. But the karmics know that. So around your birthday, the karmics is going to cause commotion. They're going to try to act like emergency happened so that person can't come over. But what's that person going to do? They already going to be prepared for those moves. So what are they going to say? You better call somebody else. Oh, you said there's an emergency. Okay, well, my, my people's on their way then. Simple as that. You understand me? See, there's some people that, again... Around certain holidays, they're going to have certain emergencies happen to try to feel that, make that person feel limited. Or they're going to have their children say certain things to them the whole time that shit was orchestrated. They're going to have their child talking about they miss their dad, they, they miss their mother, they miss the family dynamic. No, they miss being around you, witnessing you, and they know that as soon as you cross paths with another individual, it's a wrap. You heard me. So them karmics is trying to tell your child what to tell you so that you still stay around. Whole time, your child's cool. Like, oh, yeah, you saying that I can still have a father, but they ain't going to live with us, but I can go still see him? Okay, cool. Oh, you saying I can still have both of my mother and my father, but they ain't got to be with each other? Cool. Half the time, it's you stressing or your partner trying to put that on your children in order to keep you. Nah. Uh-uh. Cut that shit out. I'm telling you, it's not as bad as it seems. And if that karmic tries to do certain things pretending to your child, God protects babies and fools, right? See, let me tell you, if that karmic even tried to harm your child, right? Let's say the karmic successfully did so in another lifetime. They don't even realize that that child now gets to come back through you. So if they try to be petty and in the child's life in order to keep them from being raised or around somebody else they don't realize that that child's soul now can come through you so when you give birth you giving birth to that baby you understand me so they not realizing that no matter what they try to do it's done for them you understand me but I'm telling you, in past lifetimes, you already went through that. That's why you're feeling a certain type of way about that. You already experienced that, but you'll never experience that again. I'm trying to tell you. But how can you protect your child when you're in the darkness and you're around these demons with them? How can you save your child from karmic ways, karmic traits, toxicity, or harm? If you still in harm's way, you got to get your ass out. How are they going to get an opportunity to get out away from that karmic if you still around that karmic who can cause harm to you and them? Because I'm telling you, some of these karmics are going to try to end them li their own lives. So why the fuck would you be around them? Now, it's different if you see somebody going through something and you like, hey, yo, you give them courage, encouragement, like you ain't got to do that. But if somebody got their mind made up that they going to take themselves out, I'm not, com what? I'm not coming over there to you. You talk about you about to say, I'll call them people for you. I'll call the police. I'll call the ambulance. I'll call your family. But the fuck I look like coming over there? What? If you don't care about you, the fuck I'm going to come over there and put my son? I'm not doing that. The fuck I look like? If you don't care about your life, motherfucker, you ain't going to. I'm not doing that. If you try to take you out there, there's nothing I have. You got your mind. There's nothing I could do. I could call 911. I can send them your location. The fuck I look like talking about I, I you depressed. You feel like you about to 
You sitting in the dark about the office. I, I'm not walking in no damn dark and seeing you on the couch and shit looking. I'm not coming over there. No. Let me see some damn lights on. I'm a, I'll ride past. Officer, ride past. Let me see some. Uh-uh. You sitting in the dark. You think I'm going to come. No, what the fuck? Mm-mm. You got your mind. I'm sorry. They talking about, oh, I'm going to blame you. You the reason why I'm doing this. I'm going to tell everybody. Well, if you say you taking yourself out, how you tell everybody? Now, there's some shit that you got to stop getting punked for. Because some of them just be lying. Now, again, I'm not encouraging it. If you felt that way, you're going to have to get help, baby. But there's some of them that's... What? Talking about, yeah, I'm. they going to do it. And they going to leave a voice. Don't leave that shit on my phone. What you talking about? No. Oh, I'm going to tell everybody. Don't tell nobody nothing. Don't tell her. You talk about you going to tell people it was because of me. The oh, fuck? No, it's not, Satan. Don't know. That's still not having me come over there. I'm still not sending you my location. You talk about you going to run off the road, but then going to come and talk about, come take a ride with me. I, this is not country grammar, Nelly. Talk about take a ride with you. You say you almost ran yourself off the damn road. I'm not doing it. No fuck, no. Officer, they are driving a Pontiac. Officer, that Dodge, huh? I'll report it for you. You talking about, oh, you, it's because you're, what? Yeah, let my mother know that it's because of you. Well, what last words do you want me to tell her, Dick? I'll put her ass on three-way. I'm not the messenger. I'm not relaying, no. I'm not doing it. You always tell my mother. Well, Miss Margaret's actually on the phone this whole time. Miss Margaret? Charles talking about he about to take himself out again. Charles talking crazy. Hmm, I told on you. And I'm... What the fuck? Talking about it's going to be on my conscience. Motherfucker, no, it's not. I'm telling on you. Miss Margaret? He over here talking about he about to choke. Now you got to send a welfare check to damn Miss Margaret. She talking about telling him to come home. Now her ass all hemmed up. She didn't got choked like the motherfucker on baby boy. It's like, Miss Margaret, I'm not dealing with it. If he said, Miss Margaret, if he said fuck you and you the matriarch of the family, what the fuck? I'm not going over there. So baby, he's just, he's, yeah. Mm-mm. And some of you karmics is crazy. You can play crazy if you want to. See, you going to play crazy until you run into a crazy motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you. Huh? You talking about what you going to do? Huh? There's some of them talking about how they going to whoop your ass right now because the magic that they send didn't affect you. Shorty, if you think my hands is lethal in a spiritual world, don't you know all my life I've been told I've been heavy-handed? I got them big mama hands. You know, you know that movie where Martin gets the shit slapped out. I'm like, my, my, my baby. I played ball since I was younger. I'm five eight and a half, shorty. You heard me. I got a little reach to me. You heard me. But we don't fight. Cause we, huh? If you, you better know. We we not fighting. I I got my concealed for a reason. Huh? I'm just trying to say, you better, they better cut that shit out. They out here putting prices on your head. You done try to pay Day Day's dumb ass to try to put prices on our head. Little slew-footed Steven to put a price on our head. You try to have a motherfucker who got that bow-legged ass Brian to try to run down on us. You try to get Murray to ride down on us with her muffler loud as a motherfucker. Shorty, you try to get who? You try to get not... Huh? You try to get Shorty in the little Jeep to run down on me. Now her glass is all steamed up. You cut that shit out. So I know what you doing, motherfucker. You out here trying to put little shit on my doorstep. No, it's getting swept off. And I might fuck around and turn into Tiger Woods and floor that shit, floor that shit towards you. You over here got motherfuckers sprinkling a little shit near my doorway. Motherfuckers keep walking past. My house on the street keeps saying certain things. No, don't you say shit when you walk past here trying to speak certain shit on me. Talking about Akuna, Akuna Matata to you too, motherfucker. What? Uh-huh. I'm not playing with you. Beetlejuice. What? 
shut your dumb ass up. I'm just saying. You got shorty right now over there trying to speak certain shit in your divine ma divine masculine. Baby, if you hear me, don't you eat that motherfucker's food this Thanksgiving. You better go get a soul food tray, a tray for somebody else. Don't you eat her shit. She over there humming in the food by mixing shit. No. Spaghetti is not for Thanksgiving. Don't you eat that shit. That is not cranberry sauce. Put it down. No. You wondering why the turkey got shit tied around his neck. It is a damn voodoo. Dog. Put that shit back. Don't touch it. Every time she told me she making you a drink, she keeps saying certain shit. I do not hear no instrumental. She is not singing. She's speaking shit into your drink. Put it down. If you can't hear that tap, then don't you drink it. She talking about her drinks just bring, brings out brings out what? The demons motherfucker get behind me Satan? no. You talking about this our last supper? Bitch, last supper for who? Your motherfucking ass. I'm not eating that shit. That's like you eating off of that, that motherfucker off the movie where he says, take my hand, my strong hand. You know when he throwing shit all in the food and mixing the mashed potatoes with his little hand that look like shorty off the yin yang twins. I'm not eating that shit. You out here eating witch, witch and shit talking about, I'm not eating it. Fuck her and fuck you. Fuck the potato salad. The macaroni ain't macking. I'm not doing it. Something ain't right. And it gotta get left. I'm not eating after your ass. Pill, funky. I'm not doing it. And grandma, and you bring her ass over, get, don't call me. Don't call me. You talking about that girl in here acting crazy. You shouldn't have let the motherfucker in. I told you. You talking about she came in here. Now she's drawing certain shit in the carpet. I'm not doing it. No. Now you hear your little you know, cabinet shaking and shit. I'm not doing it. You're on your own. The fuck I told you not to let her in. Satan can't come in your house. They going to ask. If you say no, the motherfucker got to go. But you let her in. So you getting choked out, you getting choked out. That has nothing to do with me. Talking about help me. You just hear motherfucker keep breathing in the phone. Get up. Fight back. Police is on their way. I'm not coming. If they did that to you, Granny, I'm not coming. <laughs> if they was willing to do you like that, Granny, I'm not coming. I'll send help. I told you. I'm not doing it. But y'all be cautious who y'all eating after. And again, pay attention, all right? So-and-so, every time they come back there, they speaking certain shit. And you, this is not the Yin Yang Twins, the Whisper Stone. Stop whispering into my damn cup, Charles. Because I just got to say, Charles. I'm sorry, your name's Charles. Charles, you usually lie all the damn time. So, Charles, you know why I'm saying this, Charles. James, you know why the fuck I'm saying this, James. I'm not... I'm not playing with you. But comics, when it comes to it, let me just start. Let's just end this with this. Comics, you getting your ass whooped. Comic, you look beat the fuck up, baby. You up here conjuring shit in the middle of the night. I promise you, I'm knocked out. Mouth open. Heavy snore. Heavy snore. Heavy snore. I told you, I don't sleep cute. You know them pe people take pictures of them and they all cute sleep? Mother that is not me. I sleep hard, motherfucker. Like... If I hear something, I wake up instantly, but what? Mouth open, snoring, I'm... It's not... Don't try to be cute. Back the fuck up, too. Wish you that close to me. I'm hot. Back up a little bit. Mm -mm. I'm trying to tell you. Carmen's out here looking crazy, baby. You got them bags because you up trying to conjure up certain shit. It's over. It's done. You out here got them bags because of that. Motherfucker, we got bags because we sleeping hard. We sleeping hard. You heard me. It's a difference. You look tired. You didn't age the food. You aging in puppy years, Scooby. I'm trying to tell you. It's you add you <sighs> puppy years. It's getting bad. But you try to do magic to make us look ugly. Bitch, it's not. It's for you. Surprise. Surprise. I was coming to you. Hmm. You try to sit there and make us gain weight and lose weight now your back is big but your middle and your bottom not so much it's like now you out here working walking around like an upside down you was out here playing near triangles now you built like an upside down one 
And when I say big back again, this is not me talking about bodies. Now, some of you guys some motherfucking big backs. Just imagine, because shit. It was there a time that my back was big? It could have been. I don't know, to somebody's opinion. But some of y'all got a big back because of that ego that you were sitting there carrying and shit. That chip on your shoulder. Hmm. You talking about your tooth was hurting, that's why. Because you said that you wanted to unbig your back, but you still was eating them apple pies. Nope. Hmm. Don't talk shit about... Don't go there with me. I'm talking to the comics. You want to you want go there? Chosen one. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the comic. But if you want to go there too... Oh, why? Nah, I was just making sure. But no. Y'all, keep your energy clear. But let me get up off here because I got a few coaching sessions to do. Chosen minds. I got the pre-sale available for the whole How to Catch a Karmic course. This is going to tell you how to identify somebody that's divine, somebody that's karmic, whether that's karmic family, karmic positions, partnerships, so on and so forth. It's a two-hour course that you can actually watch yourself. It's not live, so you don't have to worry about being there at a specific time. It's for pre-sale now. The promotion code is a touch of our dude. That's $5 off, all right? Now, right now, it's at a lower price. Now, as soon as it goes available for sale, December 22nd, it's a different. It's going to go to full price. But again, those who get it for pre-sale now, you get an extra 30-minute video that comes with it. So that's two and a half hours of insight, everything broken down for you, as well as for you to identify cycles and karmic patterns that's connected to you, right? I love you so much. I'm going to upload this live later on my YouTube. Please remember, I never reach out to you for a reading. You got to be ready to receive it because I ain't sugarcoating shit. I, I'm going to tell you that's a karmic, that's your true divine partner. What you do, what you've been doing, what that person intends to do towards you. You understand me as well as where you hit it. So I got you. I love you so much. Y'all continue to be great, babies. If you need me, you know how to reach me. All right? Be great.